and hello again and here we are back in my garage and I want to do a quick update on a couple of things I've bought recently on eBay that I featured in a previous video and the first of those is this my HJC V10 helmet I've now had it a few weeks and I'm still pretty happy with it but I did make a couple of errors when I first described this helmet in a previous video and the first of those was that I said the retail price of these is £300 and I got it for about £190 in a sale off eBay very pleased with that price but it turns out that's not quite correct the retail price of the pounds is for the helmets with graphics all over them the plain colors like my white one here they're not so expensive they're only 269 I've still got a good deal I've still got a good deal on it of course because uh, 190 is better than 269 but yeah it's not quite as expensive as I said the second thing I got wrong was that I said these vents here in the chin bar you couldn't close them off turns out you can there's a little lever behind here hidden away difficult to see in all the blackness but it does open and close there you go open close the uh, the vents turns out i had the vent closed when i went for a ride and it did steam up a little bit so i've opened it up but it didn't actually make a huge difference make a small difference but not a massive difference but yeah at least it's got uh, the closure option for those vents so since I bought it, I wanted to buy a dark visor for this helmet and that's where I've come unstuck because it seems nobody has them in stock. Been to JNS, got none. So they got someone back order, so I ordered one, but I'm not holding my breath. Even eBay, which has lots of these visors for sale, all different colors, all the popular ones are out of stock. So I've had to uh, buy myself an Iridium visor, a blue visor, which is not my first choice, but it'll do for now until I can get a dark visor. <clears throat> Sadly, the Iridium visors are more expensive than the plain clear visors, and I think that one's cost me £52 rather than the sort of £35, £40 for a clear visor, so it's not ideal, but still a lot cheaper than buying a, a dark visor for my shoey anyway. So there you go, a quick update on this helmet, and I actually am very pleased with it. Um, pretty comfortable. I always wear earplugs so the noise issue isn't such a problem but yeah I'm pretty well happy with this thing I'm glad I've got it suddenly for £190 so that's the first thing so quick break for a cup of tea just a minute and so next I want to talk about this my gold top jacket it's very nice it's very expensive at almost £500 when you include the Nox body armour that's well worth it and I have already made a, a video about this, quite a long video, about why I chose this particular jacket over all the others out there. But, there's always a but, isn't there? I did say, at the time, I did feel this jacket was a little bit too big for me. So this is a 42, and I reckon I should have gone for a 40. But the problem is, you can't try these things on. They've only got one shop in the whole of the UK, and there's certainly no other stockists within 100 miles of me. So you have to take that risk. Now, I could have sent it back, at the time, it seemed you know it wasn't too bad. I could ride the bike, and off the bike it felt fine. It was just on the bike it did feel a little bit too loose here and there. However, I then went for a long ride. I was on the motorway for quite a while, you know, doing motorway speeds, and I could feel this jacket kind of moving around. It's rippling in the air breeze, in, in the sort of wind, particularly here at the front. You can feel it sort of moving around because as you're bending forward, it's kind of bunching up, and you can feel it moving around. It's like oh god. That's not ideal. I could live with it because this thing's an expensive jacket. I'm not just going to throw it away because it that particular problem. But yeah, it did. Uh, it wasn't ideal. It wasn't ideal. I wasn't too happy about that. So, what could you do? Well, I'm not going to stop wearing it. It's fine around town. It's fine off the bike. But just at those higher speeds, you, you could tell it was a bit too big. But that might be a good thing come the colder weather when I could wear you know warmer clothes underneath and it will fill it out. It'll be fine. But, but, on eBay, I do look for various things all the time. I look for Furigan branded stuff and, and a gold top and, um, you know, some bargains when it comes to shoey helmets, gloves, and also motorbike bits. I'm currently looking for a transmission for a bike, but that's a separate story. The good news is that a few weeks ago, I saw another jacket similar to mine, same colour and everything. And its initial bid, starting bid, was only 149 quid. So that's pretty cheap. Now it had a six days to run, the auction, so I thought, oh well, I won't get that for 149 quid, but I'll put a bid in anyway, just to see what it goes for. So I put the bid in 149 quid, and 
expected it to go for about 300 or 350 that seems to be the price range for these second hand on ebay but after six days nobody else bid on that jacket and i got it for 149 quid and that includes all the Knox body armor which is worth about 100 pounds on its own but wow i did wonder what was wrong with this jacket but it turns out there's nothing wrong with it it arrived and i'm very happy with it so let me take this off and i'll show you what i bought by the way this jacket is called a gets right a cafe racer 76 so it's not quite the same similar as you can see it's like slightly lighter color overall but this is called a bobber and it's actually i didn't consider this my sort of second option when it came to gold tops but i went for the, the 76 instead the main difference is mine the older one has got a central zip whereas this has got a sort of lancet style zip going from side to side so uh let's just zip him up yeah so this is much better for me i can still move okay i've got the body armor in there i've got the nox back protector in there and yeah it's a it's a very good fits me really well and on the bike there's no movement there's no rippling in the wind so i'm very happy with it and i think the reason why i got it so cheap was because the lady selling it many sells sort of high-end used dresses and handbags and coats and that sort of thing for women i don't think she knew what this really was she knew it was a jacket but not much beyond that so because of that i think it didn't show in the sort of motorcycle section on ebay but because i was searching for um, the gold top it did show for me so i got it her loss is my gain and i'm very happy with this jacket of course it does leave me with a problem because now i've got two jackets now i could keep this and wear it off the bike or just around town but it's an awful lot of money to leave just not used very often so i did consider sticking it on ebay i think it would go for about 350 um and if i sell this for 350 and i bought this for 149 it doesn't mean i'm sort of coming out ahead of the trade for once but then a mate of a mate an acquaintance not really mate but acquaintance someone, someone i know had seen this jacket before had liked it I told him all about it. He did. He was considering buying one. And I told him, look, you know, this is mine's now for sale because I've got something else. It's too big for me. But it fits him just fine. So he's going to come and buy this off of me on Saturday, a few days time from now, for 350 quid. So he's happy because he saved himself 150 quid. And I'm happy because I'm coming out ahead of the game for once, which is a rare for me when it comes to trades like this. So yeah, eBay once again comes to the rescue. And so there's a quick update on a couple of things I bought off eBay recently. So yeah, for once I came out ahead of this particular transaction, quite rare for me. Now the good news is as we go into winter and the cold months, you can find some really good bargains on eBay when it comes to motorbikes and motorbike gear, because folks don't tend to buy in the winter. So I'm still actually looking out for a very expensive pair of Knox gloves that I want, that uh, I'm hopeful I can find a good price sometime over the winter but we'll see so anyway that's it for now and so thanks for watching and cheers